Yeah. So you've been asking us loads of questions, lots of people, lots of questions. So um, I think it's probably only fair that we ask you some questions. Okay. You're up for it. I'm up for it. Um, so I guess, um, you know, a lot of people will know you already, but there might be some people who don't necessarily know you that well. So um, you could start by telling us a little bit about you and what your role is in the church and what your kind of hopes are for the future. Um, yeah, so I am the youth pastor at St Mark's and I've nearly been here. My interview was nearly five years ago, mid-June, which is like super crazy how fast that time has gone. Um, and um, yeah, it's been an amazing five years of God at work and using me and really, um, yeah, like, I'm like, why are you using me sometimes in this job? Like, I'm so not qualified and I don't know what I'm doing and I don't pray enough. Um, but God goes beyond all of that, doesn't he? And, and if we just say, okay, here I am. And yeah, he used us. So, um, so I'm super thankful for, for this, this job and this role and, and this place as well. Like Harrogate um, hasn't always felt like an easy place to live, but, um, but I do love it lots lots of the time and so you know my family aren't here um and i've really had to really um make church family my real real family so when we say that i'm like okay this really has to be true for me because my other family just aren't here so um so yeah that's kind of a bit about my role um and my hopes for the future one day at a time <laughs> i'll focus on tomorrow um for hopes of the future but regarding young people it's that they'll as we've said already, just discover who God is for them and know how loved they are and how treasured they are and that he's got plans for them um, and dreams for them that they, um, I, I guess, are yet to discover and yet to find out, but that he wants to show them. So, Wow, that's so cool. I love that you have such a strong sense of direction as well for young people and you know where, you know, you know where you're going with that and do you think you'll always be um in youth ministry that's a good question as well i don't know like um i'm always really um i always speak really loudly when people are like when you get to a certain age you should you know not do this anymore because young people only relate to people who are young too and um, i think that's really wrong because i hang out with some older people at church now and i'm like you so much to teach me and our young people so um i think as long as you love young people and you love god you could be in youth ministry till you're 95 so um you know it might look different but um yeah i hope i'll always do some form of youth ministry wherever i am whatever life looks like for me because yeah i think to just see young people grow in god's love and grow in faith is yeah it's a thing to do that every day and what do you uh, what do you love about Harry? Oh, Betty's. Oh. <laughs> I have to say that because I'm talking to you and you work. <laughs> no, um, I do love Betty's. Um, I love the stray at the moment. I'm such, so thankful for the stray. Like I've never appreciated it this much before. And in a way, I probably have to confess that I've always found it a bit of a chore to walk across because it's really big um so from here to church it's quite it feels like a long way it felt like a long way but now it's like ah oh, i've done my walk and i've walked quite a long way so um yeah i'm thankful for how green it is and how spacious it is like it can have a lot of people on it and you can still feel like you've got your own little patch can't you and it's just lovely isn't it so yeah it is especially when the weather's like this yeah well, it's a bit overcast today, but yeah, I mean, we've been really blessed, haven't we, with the weather and how gorgeous everything's been. Yeah, so they're my Harrogate, Harrogate likes. Nice. And who do you admire the most at St Mark's? <gasps> That's such a good question. Um, so I would say... You can have more than one, I know it's hard to choose. I know, I'm going to have to reel off a whole load of people. So um, Rob Stocks, I would say, is my Harrogate dad. He is like just a, a dream. He's always there texting me and supporting me and asking me um, how he can pray for me or that he is already praying. And um, yeah, he's just kind of scooped me up um, since, I, since I arrived really. And his 
and I guess just dedication to faith is, um, yeah, it's just, it's just there. It's just so obvious that he loves God and he wants to serve him. Um, and so he's super cool. Um, and then there's a lady called Suzanne, who I absolutely love as well, Suzanne Wood. Um, and she once um, really um, dedicated herself to teach me how to knit and I have not succeeded in that yet. Um, but she is just so wonderful and she's gone through some trials too. Um, and um, yeah, and I love, um, I just love popping around to see her, which I can't really do at the moment. But um, mm -hmm. so if she's watching, I'll say hi to her. Um, there's so many people, isn't there? So many. Yeah. But I'll stop there because this video could <laughs> go on quite a long time. Forever, yeah, yeah. Great. And um, what is, you know, once lockdown is completely eased, imagine we clicked our fingers and everything was back to complete normal. What is the first thing that you are going to do? Go like to you wake up and it's like, everything's over. How's your day going to look? Oh, it'll look like um, driving to the seaside, I think. I'm going to get some fish and chips with some friends. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, just relaxing and just um, celebrating, I guess, that we've got a lot to give thanks for um and yeah being reminded of the small things all the time um and then probably just having coffee in an actual coffee shop not just um walking around with it um but yeah seeing friends as well at home in the midlands that'll be really lovely because um yeah zoom's just not the same great Thank you so much. Thanks for answering those questions. It's strange not being the interviewer. <laughs> I'm very Good grateful. Though. Thank you so much, Sam. Um, you're a gift to us um, in such a short space of time. I'm so thankful. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Thank you. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye.